Everybody starts their security journey somewhere. And by security journey, I mean they're buying their first security equipment. And normally it will be a security camera, alarm system, video doorbell. And it's understandable because we buy what we know, we buy what we understand. And some other things can seem intimidating. But today what I want to show you is a new product that you can use and that is as simple as a security camera or an alarm system. And we're talking about video intercom. Yes, I understand intercom. It's always like more complicated doing the setup, but I promise you watch until the end. This is super easy to do. And we are looking at Dnake's IPK05, which is a video intercom kit. And this one specifically is a Wi-Fi kit. So it's using Wi-Fi communication to speak with one another. So we're talking an indoor monitor and a door station. It might look like a video doorbell, but it packs a lot more. All right, let's see how it works. So part of this kit, as I said, we have an indoor monitor. This is the E217 indoor monitor from Dnake. So it's a seven inch capacitive touchscreen and it connects to PoE. So if you want to power it up, it's either PoE or a 12 volt power supply. As I mentioned, it's using Wi-Fi communication, so you don't need another wire, which makes this installation way easier than it is. And in the back, you have your PoE port for powering your indoor monitor, but you can also use the 12 volt power supply which makes it very versatile depending on your installation. You also have an eight channel alarm inputs for different sensors that you can get from Dnake. So if you want to scale up your system after buying this kit, it's always possible. Next, we have the door station. So this one, we did a deep review about it on our channel. You can see it in action, what it actually does. But in short, it has a two megapixel with WDR camera. This one has also an integrated relay for access control. So as I mentioned before, this is different from a video doorbell because with access control, it means that you can open your door through the app. You can open your door using the indoor monitor and also using card access and key fobs. So this makes it very versatile again and everyone in your home can have different access and can enter your place really easily. But now it's about the setup. As I mentioned before, this is a Wi-Fi video intercom kit. So it's a Wi-Fi communication protocol between the two. So the way it works is that you don't need a Wi-Fi connection. It's just the way they talk together. But of course, if you use your Wi-Fi connection, you have access to the mobile app and also to different settings. Now I will show you how this works, how to do the setup so you can follow along and then do it yourself. So as you can see on the back of the device, we connected our CAT6 cable to power the devices with a PoE switch. Again, you have the capability to power them with a 12 volt. For us, it's easier to use our switch because in our lab, we have a bunch. Now, first thing is the indoor monitor. So this is where you will do the whole setup. And the first question is the language you want to use. In our case, we'll keep English. You click on next. And then it's asking you if it's your first indoor monitor. We say yes again. And there you have the Wi-Fi communication protocol between the video station, so the door station that we have here, and the indoor monitor. All you need to do is toggle on the top right, the little dot here, and you will see the different uh, channels appearing. Now, first thing you need to do to be able to see the C112A is actually press the middle button, so the ring call for eight seconds. And a good trick to know if it's in the range of your indoor monitor, it will start blinking. So after eight seconds, you can see here it's blinking, so it will soon appear in your Wi-Fi connection and you will be able to connect both devices. So we're looking, and if you want, you can also refresh. So again, by clicking on the toggle on the top right, and then clicking back and you should see it appear in a matter of seconds. So it's right here, we click, then it's connecting and then it's the door sync. So you can click on next, 
Now it's searching for this door station. We need to name the door station, so we'll call it people, and you can already see the camera working. And a little bit of feedback. Next is the Wi-Fi setting. So as we mentioned before, yes, it's a communication protocol between the two, but you can also have a Wi-Fi internet connection if you want to use the mobile app. So in our case, we will skip this one and then it asks you for the different settings of your indoor monitor. It will, do, it will do the same with the door station after. So it's showing you the IP address. So if you want to use a static IP address or if you want to do a DHCP. In our case, we'll use a static for the indoor monitor and as well as the door station. And there you go. You're already done with the setup. So now I can use the door station, click on call and right away, you see the picture appearing right here. From the indoor monitor itself, I can unlock the door. So by pressing this button, I unlock the door. I can answer the call or just close the phone call right here. And from there, it's already in my call log. So I'm able to review who actually came in front of my door. So now you have a lot of setups you can use inside your door monitor to set it up the way you'd like. But as you can see, it took us, what, 30 seconds and it's already working. So the door station and the indoor monitor are connected together. They're able to unlock the doors. You're able to monitor in front of your home and super easy to do. But if we look a little bit deeper, well, here you have the door so you can monitor just by clicking on it. You have the Curry device and right away you can hear the two-way communication. So yes, you have the audio, but you're also able to talk with the person in front of your door station. You can receive messages. You have the security panel here. So when we're talking about the different alarm sensor, you can connect to your indoor monitor. If you're using it uh, maybe for a, a bigger building, so not just your residence, you also have access to a concierge call. So you can call it from the different units and even buildings. And if you go to the right, well, you have access to cameras and setup. So the camera part will actually look at this because I find it really interesting. And we're talking about scalability before. So with the IPK05, you can actually add cameras to an RTSP stream and you're able to view the cameras using your indoor monitor. Now we will finish the setup by connecting the indoor monitor to a Wi-Fi internet communication. So you can do that by clicking on setup. Here you have multiple setup that you can do for the monitor. So adjusting the brightness, sleep time, date and time. And here you have the Wi-Fi connection that you can connect it to. But you also have different things like the do not disturb. So if you want to mute your indoor monitor for the time of the day, you also have the different doors. So here we're only using one door station, but again, you can use multiple and connect it to your indoor monitor and you have additional information. So the version of your indoor monitor and if you want to reboot it. Now, if I go inside of more, you have access to more settings and the default password is one, two, three, four, five, six. And when I go inside of there, well, you're able to see your IP address, your mask gateway, and the different things. It's good to know this part because again, we're gonna go through the R RTSP stream and you need to know your IP address to be able to process to the next step. So it's a good thing when either you do DHCP or a static IP address to note it down, but keep in mind that you always have access when you go inside the settings of your indoor monitor, you can see all this information. So for this part, as I said, is when you want to scale up your system. So you have your video intercom kit and now you want to upgrade it with some cameras. Well, this one, you can up to eight different IP cameras inside your video intercom kit. So it's really practical. But again, if you're just starting your security journey, it's better to ask the help of a professional. They know more what they're doing. And even during the installation, it's just make things easier. But now to access the web viewer of your indoor monitor, because this is where you find all the setups and this is where you can also add a camera. This is what you need to do. So you open a web browser, you enter the IP address that you wrote down before. So again, you can find it 
at the beginning when you do your setup or inside the setup of your indoor monitor. And here you have access to your indoor monitor. Now, by default, DNAIC uses admin as a username and 123456 as the password, but this is something you can change and I recommend you to change it to have more security in your device. Here, similar to all the setups that we just did inside the indoor monitor, you have the information, but on a web viewer view. So you can have the time change, you can access your password and change it, all the information about your system. But what we're looking for is under advanced. So you have, yes, the relay for the access control, but also IPC, so an IP camera. And this is where you would add the URL RTSP stream from the camera you plan on adding. And now today we're using a Uniview camera, but you can use multiple different cameras and they all have different URL to use. So again, the best scenario is to go inside the manufacturer website and look at their user manual on how to create such links. So for example, here I have my IPC URL. So this is the URL I'm pasting. I will name this the test camera. I click on OK and it saved my URL. So as you can see, the Uniview cameras, they have the same exact setup. So it's the username of the camera, the password of the camera, and then you enter the IP address of the camera. Not more complicated than that. And you can do that again, up to eight cameras. Really easy to do. You can also access your door station that you have right here if you need to. So it would be the same thing, entering the IP address of the door station. And there you can review all the settings. And this is can be more convenient because again, the indoor monitor, you can do it from the station itself. This one, you need a web viewer to access all the settings. Now that the setup is done, all you need to do is go back inside your indoor monitor, click on cameras, and as you can see, your image is already there. So again, guys, it's super easy to set up, but one thing to keep in mind when you try to scale up your system, so your video intercom and add some cameras, think about the settings. So this indoor monitor doesn't support 4K, so if you see just a black screen and you don't have no image, it means you need to change the settings of your camera. So you go inside the camera, you change it to 1080p and you will see the image appear. A good trick is if I close this, you will see it uh, quickly. When I click on camera, you have query device that appears on the screen and then it disappears. So if it disappears and the screen stays black, it just means you need to change the setting of your camera. If it says query failed, then it's a mistake in your RTSP stream, so you need to go and change it. Keep in mind, and again, as we talked about during the setup, all manufacturers use different types of URL to use inside this uh, intercom. So just make sure you respect what they're saying and look at their user manual. Now we're seeing that video doorbells are the most popular security device people buy, and this is most of the case, the first one they buy. But as you can see today, there's alternative. Even though it's called a video intercom kit, it acts exactly as a doorbell, but you have additional things you can do with it. So for example, we mentioned that this one has an access control relay, so you're able to open the door from afar, which is not something a video doorbell normally do. Not only that, but you have access to an indoor monitor. So again, if you don't have access to your phone, you can just go to the monitor and you're able to see who's in front of your door. So when you're looking for a first solution or maybe an additional security system, keep in mind that these exist. Even if they're under the intercom solution, as you saw today, they're super easy to use, super easy to set up. All right, guys, I'm Jeremy from People System. If this is the first DNAIC video you see, we have a lot on our channel, but not only that, we've met with them at ISC West, which is the biggest security trade show in the world. They showcased a lot of products and a lot of solutions like this one, which are easy to set up, easy to use, whether it's for residential or small medium businesses, or even if you have a big multi-tenant building. So go check that out on our channel and we'll see each other on the next one.